To create a timer that counts down in Scratch, open the Variables tab and click Make a Variable. Name the variable something like Timer, and then choose whether it's going to be for one sprite or for all sprites. Then click OK, and this will make a new timer variable appear in the Variables tab. Select an event block that you're going to use to start the timer, and then attach one of the set variable blocks. We're going to set this to the timer variable, our new one, and set it to five, because we're going to have a five second timer. We're going to add a couple of blocks to make the timer count down. First, we're going to connect a repeat until block. Inside of this block, we're going to add in a less than operator. We're now going to drag our timer variable into the left side and say that we're going to repeat this until our timer is less than one. Although we could have made it so that we could have repeated until our timer equals zero, this code will make it so that the timer will still stop even if we get to a negative number. For example, if you have a game where your timer will be able to add or subtract time, depending on if you're hit by an enemy or get a power up or something like that. Inside of our repeat until block, we're going to add in a wait one second block. Next, we're going to change our timer by minus one. Now, when we run the code, it will make it so our variable counts down until it reaches zero, and then it stops. We can add code at the end of this to make it so that it stops all other code, or even broadcast a message like game over. If you want to tinker with the code in this project, check out the link in the description. While you're checking out my channel, make sure you check out the playlist so you can find even more scratch tips or to learn how to teach computer science.